Hello everyone, what is going on and welcome back to my channel for another video. Now, it's been probably a long time since you've heard that properly. I've obviously done a couple of comms recently, but not like... We've just been comms just to like get me through the video. I haven't really had so much of like a... A so, so called like, you know, topic, I guess. I've just kind of like comm for the sake of like, common. But today I've actually got something like I want to kind of touch on. Which is more of like... I'll be somewhat, in a way, coming back to doing YouTube properly rather than just uploading gameplays because I'm sure if you're a long term so of mine haven't, and haven't subscribed within about the last, we'll say, six, seven months, that I used to upload content, like actual content creation or somewhat style of content creation. Whereas recently I've just been uploading pure gameplays, like, which is what I used to do during Infinite Warfare, was just uploading gameplays with music in the background or a short com to explain what was going on. Now, I did do content creation a little bit on my channel, not obviously like proper content creation, because that's just not me, that's not my style, that's not how I want to do things. Nothing against people who do do content creation like that, but it's just not me. I'm going to do me forever on YouTube, I'm never going to sell out and do something I don't enjoy, I don't like doing just for the sake of views and subs, subs and views are all just numbers, I'd rather enjoy what I'm posting. And at that time, that is exactly the, pro the problem, I didn't enjoy what I was doing, I didn't enjoy making content creation videos on the game. I'd prefer, I would have much preferred to, um, I would have much preferred to just like, go into a game, get a gameplay, put some music over it, maybe it's a short com, and that would be done. But Looking back at it now, like I want to give YouTube another try, another like a proper try and see if I can actually get anywhere. Like I'm not talking about like 100, 200, 300k subs, maybe it's like 5, 10k, something like that, like a, a decent number. Like because I've obviously got a lot of people to prove wrong, a lot of shit talkers, a lot of people who think you're never gonna make it or you're not good enough to make it. And I just, you know, I want to shut them up a little bit, and obviously I want to do it for myself because I do, I did enjoy it a lot, but. I thought Black Ops 4 wasn't really the COD to grow on as such because of the fact that I couldn't really make content I enjoyed on this game. I preferred to just straight up go and get a gameplay and get off, just like pub stomping. And that's what I want to talk about, the fact that COD or YouTube as such really isn't what it used to be. Now, before we start off, I've got I've got a lot of friends who do content creation and there's a lot of obviously big YouTubers do content creation. Who might see this video? First off, this is not aimed at anyone in particular, not aimed at anyone at all, it's just a general statement in me saying long story short YouTube isn't obviously pub stomping anymore, which is completely right, back in Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, even up like Ghosts and Advanced Warfare up until Black Ops 3, YouTube was 90% of the time strictly pub stomping, well not, not strictly but it was a lot of pub stomping, a lot more it is now, just like triple nuclears, double nuclears, moabs, chems, then obviously nuclear was on Black Ops 3 and then obviously that stopped a little bit and then content creation came along the videos on YouTube in my sub box went from insane triple nuclear with Scar H to this is the best class setup for the KN57 now again this is not going on at anyone like obviously make the content you want to make and content creation is what grows People are searching for this stuff, which is why it gets views, just as people were searching for pub stomping back in Black Ops 2, which is why it got views. Obviously, if you're a YouTuber and you've got a channel, obviously, for, like, for the most part, people with like 50, 60, 70, 80k, so that is their full-time job, they've got to make it work, we've got to obviously get money because we've got bills to pay, we've got stuff to do, so you need to obviously adapt to YouTube, and obviously them going from the pub stomping to the... Um, to like content creation, we've obviously got to adapt. A perfect example of that is Swag XBL. I used to watch Swag XBL a lot during um, Black Ops 3, and he'd do live comms where he, I think it was mainly TDM and Domination, he would play, and he, it would be more pub stomping. And then obviously now he switched to content creation, which is good because obviously he's kept his channel alive, he's, he's keeping on growing, and it continue, allows him to continue doing YouTube as a full time job. And I think probably the best example of this you can actually think of is Korean. I used to watch Korean back in the day, he used to do nuked outs, he used to get nuclears, he used to, um, I think it was trapping tutorials, 
um, how to level up faster was just like mainly for the most part pub summer but now obviously it is content creation and a lot of stuff revolved around that which is good because obviously he's evolved he's adapted to what youtube has asked and what the viewers have asked so he can keep his channel alive but obviously i've never been at that point <laughs> I've got 2,000 subs, obviously, Swag, they had like 20k in BO3, I think 60k, I don't actually know the exact number, but I know they weren't exactly 2k subs, so, it wasn't really the same, but I didn't possess the motivation to go from doing what I liked to doing what I didn't like yet, because obviously I don't get paid by YouTube, I'm monetized, yes, mon I get monetization <laughs> off my videos, but literally we're talking about 3 pence a week, like... <laughs> You don't get unless you don't start making decent money off of YouTube till like 50, 60k subs, and that's like enough to support like you, your family, obviously your, the house and that. But in terms of like decent money, whereas in like maybe a couple hundred up like a week or something, you're looking at about 20, 30, 40k subs for that. Obviously, I am nowhere near it, but I have had a couple of payments of like 80, 90 quid. Well, obviously it's helped out near and there just to get stuff for. I mean, I, I think I bought me mother a Christmas present with that, so it does help out a little bit. But obviously. It never really bothered me because YouTube is not my job. I didn't need a job back then. Obviously, I do need a job now, which is why I also took a little bit of time off of uploading because obviously I need to find a job. But anyway, that's a whole different story. Now, what I'm trying to get at is I, do, I will give content creation another go, but strictly, I ain't making any promises because, in my opinion, I can't sit there and make a video about a class and about what I think is just fairly obvious anyway like i feel as if it's relatively obvious on black ops 4 that for the maddox you'll use double quick draw stock and elo for the sorg you'll use like grip quick draw stock fast mags one of what uh, three of m4 for the cordite you'll probably use grip rapid fire fmj extended mags like i feel as if for class setup videos it I would have never thought to make stuff like that because to me it just seems simple because obviously I'm not I'm not one of the people searching for it but obviously there is people searching for it which is exactly my problem because I wouldn't exactly make videos and stuff I know myself like for the most part obviously I can figure out my own classes my own play style my own streaks to use or like the best equipment but obviously there's people out there who don't know that sort of stuff so I'm going to give it a try next year in Modern Warfare. Make make videos for the stuff for the people. Uh, ugh, make videos about the stuff some people might generally not know about. So I will be giving YouTube another try. It's just if it gets to me to the point where it's like I don't want to make a video telling people why to use quick draw, why to use grip, then I'll probably just go back to my roots and just upload pub stomp. And even though I don't even know if I'm going to be good at Modern Warfare yet, obviously. Beta isn't out, there's been no, we've seen little gameplay of it, it looks decent, don't get me wrong, some things what I wish would change, and do get changed, but it doesn't look a bad game, but I don't even know if I'm going to be good at it yet, but to not sound egotistical or big headed, but I'm good at COD, so I'm good at every COD I've played to try, I played every single Call of Duty from Call of Duty 4, but I started caring about COD in Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4 is my first boots on the ground COD game I've ever played like to try, obviously I played them, just didn't really care, I just jump on for a couple of games of TDM with me mates. I, did, I never cared if I went 0 to 17 or I went like maybe, I mean I didn't ever go 20 to 0, but you know what I mean, like, I didn't think I did well or I didn't care if I did awful. I just played. But now obviously I do care about doing good, I do care about just having fun in the game, so I have a feeling I'll do alright doing Modern Warfare, like BO4 I did pretty well. I'd say not to sound big headed, but I think I think it's like a 4.25 EKI AD, which is like, I think it's a 3.5 like actual KD, like 560 score per minute, and currently like 260 nukes, which is not that bad. So yeah, I know I'm waffling on a bit, but I will be giving YouTube another try, see if I can get myself somewhere in this community. Because um, the last time you heard of me, I was in District Seven. I left District 7 a while back, I joined a team called Animosity, which I'm sure a lot of people have heard of Team Animosity if you played either Xbox or you are from Australia. I did leave Animosity a couple of days ago, again, nothing bad to say about Animosity at all. Great team if you're on Xbox and specifically it's more of an Australian team. If you're an Australian pub stomper, content creator, anything like that, go for Animosity. They are the absolute best team in Australia, you are not going to find a better team in Australia based on Call of Duty than Animosity. I guarantee they will blow up this year and they will do very well. So if you are a pub stomper in the Call of Duty community, definitely give Team Animosity a look at because they are really sound lads and 
definitely going to do well. So if you can meet the standards, then obviously you'll be tripped well in there. Our standards are extremely high, but that's obviously because of the content they produce. But I just thought, it just I just wanted a little bit of a change. Wanted to go solo for a bit, see what opportunities get flung at me within the next um, couple of months before Modern Warfare comes out. But um, yeah, I don't really have any plans at the minute. Although I do want to start getting affiliated on Twitch because it's easier to stream on Twitch than it is YouTube because YouTube it's it's a little bit weird when it comes to um, notifications when you stream. It doesn't always um, like you know send them to people, so it's a bit weird. But if you don't follow my Twitch is twitch.tv forward slash juggernaut with a Z obviously. Um follow me there, I'll be massively, massively appreciated. You don't have to subscribe obviously you can't subscribe yet. But you don't have to subscribe, just follow, just get me to I think I'm on about fifty one for uh, sixty odd I don't actually know how many followers I'm on, but if you don't follow that'll be uh, mean a lot to us. I wanna try and get affiliated this week. Then people can sub if they want. Obviously you pay five ninety nine no four ninety nine a month for get like custom emotes and stuff, but um you get like uh, different rewards in chat and you can use different stuff but so if you do want to do that that would be amazing but if you don't have to obviously you don't have to at all so yeah that is it i don't really want to talk about much more i've got um this is a 57 gun streak with 111 kd on chaos domination i've got another 57 gun streak with 105 kd and i've got a 50 gun streak of um all with the sorg within a couple of days so i'll start uploading them a lot more because obviously i've got a few gameplays to upload so yeah uh, having said that, thank you. if you made it uh, through here, thank you so much for listening to my awful, lispy, cringy voice for this long, and I will see you in the next one, and peace.